21 Savage. All right, so it's chest and back day. We are starting with the incline bench. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna warm up to heavy single, then go back down. Feel how you feel, bro? Pretty great. Okay. So it's been a little bit over three months since surgery. I haven't benched anything above 200, but I'm feeling pretty good today. So we'll see how far I take it. Drive it back, fam. That's it. Woo! That's easier than the last one. Yo, man. Today, which would be a PR, but I'm taking it easy, man. I don't want to grind any reps. So, moving on, what we're gonna do with the incline is we're gonna drop it down. I'm gonna use 145, and we're gonna be using the 350 method. So, we're gonna try to get 50 reps total within three sets, and we're taking about two to three minute rest in between. Really good way to get a lot of work and volume in. Shout out to Paul Carter for this one. I'm gonna try to get at least 20 on the first set. Welcome to the commentary portion of the video. I'm gonna speed up the clips for you guys because I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch Ali and I bang out 100 reps total together. I'm 21 Savage. So as you can see, I got 21 reps on the first. So my training partner, he has to match me and try to do the same thing. 21, 21, 21! One thing you're gonna notice about the 350 method is that that second set is gonna feel a lot harder. You're significantly weaker on that second one. 15. <laughs> Let's go. Breathe. Push, push, push. Let's go. Come on, finish that. Finish that. That's I think that's 14? Uh, 15. 15? Actually. <laughs> Last set. The 350 method is a great way to get stronger without touching the heavier weights. Get in the Come on. <laughs> Can't have all that pushing without pulling. I don't want to walk around like this. So next thing we're gonna do, 350 method again, is that we're gonna use it with barbell row. We're just gonna use the same weight that we use for incline. So 350 method, trying to get 50 reps total within three sets. Sounds simple enough, but I'm gonna give you guys some guidelines. Between sets, I want you guys to rest a minimum of two minutes up to a maximum of three minutes. Typically, I go right down the middle and I do two and a half minutes. I do this because if you guys are resting any longer, you're not gonna get the work density benefit. So work density is just pretty much work done over time. 
All right, so barbell rows are done. We're gonna go into another pressing movement. We're gonna be doing dumbbell flat bench. Probably my favorite move for chest mass. I think if you wanna put size on your pec, overall size, the flat dumbbell bench is hands down the number one exercise. I just mentioned work density, and I think it's a great way to gauge your progress in the gym. It's not always about the one rep max or putting more weight on the bar. If you're able to do the same amount of work you did before in less time, that means you got more fit. That means you got stronger. That means your work capacity went up. If your work capacity goes up, that means you're now able to do more. And that pretty much sums up the principle of progressive overload. In the gym, we just want to do more over time, little by little, and that's how we make progress to our physiques. So my hips been feeling out of place. My chiropractor says my sacrum's not sitting where it's supposed to. So after those sets of barbell row, I'm really, really feeling my SI joint from an old injury in the summer. It's kind of difficult to bend down right now. I was gonna do some seated row, but I'm gonna opt for chest supported row instead because I don't have to get so low to get into position. Still a great, great back move. I give this to all my beginners. So when I do the chest supported row, instead of grabbing it like this with my thumbs around, I actually take a thumbless grip. So I just let the weight hang like this. By not having your thumb around, you're gonna take your bicep out the equation. Because a lot of people are not conscious or know how to use their backs properly and they tend to use their arms, especially their bicep. So by taking the thumb out, you're forced to just drive with your elbows. And that way you're gonna get a lot more back and lat engagement. All right, so a common mistake that people do for the chest supported row is that they start too low. You want your chin and your head off the edge of the bench. Don't touch your chin too much and don't extend your neck too much. Just keep your head neutral. It's gonna feel a lot more natural pulling. Final note and tip on the 350 method. So typically you wanna aim for 20 on your first set, then 15 for second and 15 to finish off the final. If you're getting more than 20 your first set, that's completely fine. It just saves you work for the upcoming sets. It's also fine if your first run with the 350 method, you don't get all 50 reps, that's okay. I would say if you're picking a weight that allows you to hit within the high 30s, that's a good start. And that's just gonna give you the goal to keep retrying that weight until you do hit 50. Then you can up the weight. So after all that pressing, we move on to our flies. You absolutely need flies for a wider chest. All the pressing is gonna give you the mass, but for that whiff, you gotta incorporate some flies. I'll do a quick video in the future to show y'all how I set up this do-it-yourself pec deck. All right, final move. We're gonna do upright row, but with the rope attachment. So this is really good to avoid shoulder impingement because the rope moves with you and at the top, you can get extra contraction by pulling it apart. So we're gonna do three sets of 20. I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And one more thing, it's heating up in Toronto. You know summer is coming around the corner. So share this with your friends who want to get their chest and back game up. Let them know that you care and that you want them to fill up their t-shirts. <laughs> make sure you give the workout a try yourself. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching once again. Coach D, out.